What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to pose a question to you guys. All right, let's think about this for a second. Think about the style in which you play video games. And if you took that style and the strategy that you employ when you play video games and you applied that to your life, what would your life look like? Now, if you don't really understand the question, I'll explain. You guys in my community are some of the hardest core gamers that I've ever met in my life. You guys can get into a system. You guys can figure it out. No matter what's happening, if you guys need an answer, you'll find it. And you'll try multiple things, hundreds of things, thousands of things, different iterations, until you figure out how it works so you can crush it. And then you'll find the next problem and you'll do the same thing over and over and over again. And the challenge is, is I think that we give ourselves a lot of credit for the things that we achieve in games. But again, I pose the question, what if you took that same approach to your actual life? Like if you took that same steadfast approach to your actual life, how different would your life be? Now, I'm not coming from a place where I'm saying stop playing video games because that's ridiculous, right? Like we're always going to be, we're gamers. Like that's just what we do. But I'm saying that the central concept is I think as gamers, we're kind of cheating ourselves because should we go hard on games? Absolutely. But I think we should go equally hard on ourselves because we're the only consistent variable in our lives, period. We're the only things that stays the same. That's always going to be there until we die. <laughs> so by taking even just a fraction of the time that we put into games, and investing that in ourselves, learning a new language, learning a new skill, um, going to the gym, working out, whatever, um, I think can dramatically change the impact that we'll have on our own lives and the people's lives that we love and care for as well. But I wanted to bring this up just because like, I wanted to really give you guys some food for thought and just really leave you guys again with that question, what would your life be like if you took all the time that you put into the game or some of the time, hell, even half of the time, let's, let's take the game that you spent the most hours in. You know, I mentioned this in a previous video, but take the game that you spent the most time in, cut half of that time down. And if you put those hours into you, how different would your life be right now? And just think about that for a second. And with that, um, let me know in the comments, how different would you think your life would be? If you worked just as hard on yourself, again, as you do on your games, let me know that in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Uh, just a little food for thought. Um, I love you guys. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. If you guys have a topic that you guys would like me to discuss and like a uh, real talk with, you know, D video, because, uh, you know, we did the first episode for that uh, recently. Let me know that in the comments as well. Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' ideas. And if there's anything that you want to throw out there that you would want me to discuss, you know, throughout my life, you know, career, <laughs> the success that I've had, or the things, the crazy things that I used to do <laughs> in my life, um, let me know that in the comments. All right. But I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful evening and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.